welcome back to our YouTube channel and since you are enrolled with your research subject you will undergo three different stages or levels so what are these levels of course you have the level one that's the title defense the level two this is your proposal defense or this is, is the chapter one defense and the final part or level three is the final defense the success of your level two and three is dependent on your success with your title defense it is important to remember that for the title defense you need to have a plan you need to have you need to prepare for it and you need to make sure to have a guide during the preparation stage for your title defense ask yourself among with your group what is my goal for the title defense isn't it that our main goal for the title proposal is to have our title approved by the panel or jury for the process of course you have to answer all the questions from your panelists clear and very smart and we need to strategize how of course by preparing that's why you're watching this video because you wanted to, to be prepared no one can beat a person who is ready and prepared whether it would be a title defense a research proposal or a final hearing and on this learning blog we will talk about possible questions that your panelists might ask you and some tips on how you can answer these questions most of the time students don't show a lot of effort during the title defense maybe because they think it's just a title defense but take note that you cannot proceed in writing your in introduction and the other parts of your research if you haven't successfully defended the title you cannot gather data if your panel hasn't approved a title for your study or research it's wrong thinking that a title defense is not as important to compare to the rest of the level or stages of your research take note that if you started things right therefore you are expected to complete all the strategies right and correct but if you started your research problematic then expect tons and tons of troubles along the way and you might not be able to finish your research on time so never underestimate the value of title defense and the rest of the process on your research you have to treat them equally important so sir friends what are those possible questions that my panel or my panelists might ask me okay the common process in research is that you submit or you are required to submit to your advisor or advisors at least five to three titles and you have you have to uh, ask for their approval or you need to do a pre-approval for this title one possible question your panel may ask is the question among the three or maybe two proposed titles do you prefer the most commonly when researchers propose titles to the panelists they usually present first the most liked or preferred title by the group and followed by the less preferred but of course your group like those title it's just your preferences comes with the degree of likeness when you are prompted with this type of question you should answer the panel with all honesty which title do you and your group mates preferred the most and make sure to have a unified answer with your group mates how about if we only have one sing single or one title to defend in that situation you don't have any other choice but to do your best in defending that single title that you have explain the best way that title is a good title for your research and answer all the questions from your panelists with clarity and straight to the point second the second possible question that your panel might ask you is 
What problem prompted you to propose such study? With this question, your panelist is giving you the opportunity to explain where are you coming from? What is your inspiration with your title? What is your kumbaga hugot for this title? They wanted to know the deeper reason why you have chosen these titles or topics. You should be able to answer this with clarity again so that your panelists will be able to connect what are you trying to convey to them with regards to the topic or title that you are proposing. Never answer your panelists with the answer like, It's just my choice. Gusto lang po, ganahan lang na ko yung anemong title. Or else, you are putting yourself in a trouble. Understand and analyze within yourself and among with your team what's the best answer for this question. Dig deeper into why you have chosen to propose this title. Also, do not answer this question like, I can think of any other title, sir. Wala na po akong ibang maisip. Sir, ma'am, uh, wala na ko ilaing mahuna-hunaan. You should be very careful with your answer. And never answer your panel that way or else your title will surely be disapproved. Third, the third possible question is, what do you mean by this word or words you have used in your title like for example what do you mean by contactless transactions what do you mean by cryptocurrency what do you mean by motivational factors whatever words you have used in your title it is a must that you should be able to explain the meaning of these words or phrases Another big no, no, no is that whenever this question will be asked, you will just scratch your head or back and will just simply tell the panel, I'm sorry, I forgot to do a research on the meaning of that word. You should know the meaning of that word or words or phrase that you have used in your proposed title so that Whenever this question will be asked, you can provide or deliver the best answer. Fourth, the fourth possible question is, what possible contributions can this study yield? The panelists would like to help you with how can your research be a help to your society or maybe to your respondents or to the locality. Will this suggest a solution to the problem in the, in the community? Will this solve the question? Or who will benefit from this study that you are proposing? You should know the answer. It is not good that, your fa that you face your panel with a smile, but you can even answer your question, what and who will benefit from this study? Prepare for this type of question and always, always, expect to things that are unexpected. Fifth, what legal basis can you mention that support this proposed study? In this question, the panelists would like to find out if during the process of drafting your title, you have made readings in relation to those titles you have drafted without being instructed to do so. As a good student or as a good researcher, you have gone to a lot of readings so that you will discover so many things that concerns to the title that you have drafted. That's why in my research class, I have asked my students or I have asked you, dear students, to create and submit gap analysis and review of related literature so that you will be forced to scan deeper or dig deeper related studies, related literature, legal basis, conceptual framework, and so many others, so that you would know if this title you are proposing is relevant, and at the same time, you will discover how other researchers drafted the research and the contents of their studies. 
this will also open your mind to so many realization in relation to your proposed title. With this type of question, you must be able to mention Republic Acts, RA, that concerns or relate to your title. Mga batas, mga balaod. Sixth, what theory can you anchor for this topic or title? You must answer your panelists with theories that will support your topic. Look into your topic or title and understand the best theory or theories that will support the title you are proposing. Say for example, your topic deals with customer satisfaction or maybe marketing strategies. You can make use of AIDAS, A-I-D-A-S, theory of selling or attention, interest, desire, action, and satisfaction. Another example, if your topic is about employee performance, employee performance evaluation or related topic to that one. You can present the theories like motivator hygiene theory, job characteristic model, or maybe dispositional theory. You should and must prepare at least two to three theories that you can present to the panel that supports the topic or title you are proposing. Now you have to understand or if you have observed from the start, from the first possible question to this present, the sixth, that when you face your panelist, it's not just merely the title that you will bring with you. Just like a good soldier, you must be in full battle gear. Or just like a student, when you bring your baon, you just don't bring rice alone. But along with the rice is your viand or your sudan. And along with the viand is your water. And not only that, you should also bring your spoon and fork. The same with the title proposal. It is not just the title alone that you will bring with you. And before you face the panel, you should have gone through a lot of readings, 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 and readings. All right, so that's just the part one of those possible questions and how you can answer these possible questions during your title hearing or title proposal. I hope so. This will help a lot in your end to be ready and be prepared to face your panel and have the title approved. And of course, I know you are interested and in how, how, how overwhelming it is to hear your panelists to say, Congratulations, and this is your approved title. That's it for now. Do expect the part two of this vlog. Ingat! <laughs>